everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a empties video. I haven't done one of these in a minute. It's gonna be my second empties video. I've been collecting this stuff for months now and I'm ready to get this video done. I feel like I have sat on enough stuff to where we're gonna have a cool amount of stuff to talk about. If this is your first time tuning in, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, let's go ahead and just start looking at what we have here. So the first thing is this Burt's Bees Hydrating Facial Mist. This was a repurchase. I actually got this one time just because I wanted some type of like water mist for my face and it was like on sale I think at Ulta. I ended up, that was the only reason why I had actually tried it and I ended up actually really liking it so I thought it was going, I thought it was going to be discontinued but then I ended up going back to Ulta one time and then I ended up seeing that they had it again so I was like hey you know what I think I'm gonna get that because I do remember actually liking it basically it's not technically like a toner it's more so just to put hydration into your face so technically you could actually use this I'm sure as like a setting spray probably for your makeup don't mind the cars driving back and forth you guys I yeah my boyfriend works at night so I can't always do my videos in the house so yeah just so i can be nice and focused and be able to talk as loud as i want i will come in my car and you know do my videos yeah so you can use a hydration mist for a little bit of everything you use to set your face um after you do your makeup you can do it just to add hydration back in throughout the day what i would actually use this for which i feel like if you're trying to get your hands on some type of hydration spray i feel like the best way to use this is if you actually use hyaluronic acid or squalene in your skincare get you a little hydration spray because i feel like when you use hyaluronic acid on dry skin it doesn't work as well as if you were to have a little bit of moisture on your skin beforehand that's where a hydration mist comes into play or at least that's how i use it sensitive um eczema skin approved <laughs> oh pfft, that's funny i actually have two of these um this one is from Caudalie. it's just called grape water it says soothes moisturizes antioxidant um and then for sensitive skin it's basically the same thing the only difference is that this one is in an aerosol can which is probably not that great because anything in an aerosol can does have alcohol not that this is a bad product but i mean if you're trying to be like conscious conscious of that if you want a little bit more of like a bougie one i feel like this one's uh still good it does the same thing i think if anything the only difference is that this one has antioxidants which if you want something almost semi anti-aging something with more benefits than just hydration i guess you could say then go with the quickly one next thing that we have is my wow this is hella beat up <laughs> okay it was um the dermalogica pre-cleanse oil this is just the original pre-cleanse i love this stuff you i love a good pre-cleanse this one was the og i feel like i feel like this one was the first one i had i had ever tried at least if you haven't heard of it um it's the brand is called dermalogica i don't know why everybody always gets that twisted they'll be like oh dermatologica i don't know just making up like how it's pronounced it's called dermalogica so basically it's an oil basically you use it to really break down your makeup but you can use it just to break down pollution that sits on your skin before you wash your face if you have time to do some extra steps in your skincare i would highly suggest giving a pre-cleanse a try because pre-cleanses honestly made me so much less lazy to take off my makeup at night but yeah definitely would repurchase this one okay here's the thing with this one I feel like if it was on sale, I would most definitely repurchase it. It is a pricey item, but if you ever get the chance to and you just need one, this is a good one. This one is actually kind of random. This is something me and my boyfriend Jonathan have been using for months now. This is the Sensodyne toothpaste. We always use different ones, but any toothpaste by this brand is hella good. I don't know what it is, but it's good in the sense that like, I feel like it doesn't dry out my mouth like i don't know if you guys have ever had that happen where like you use a super minty toothpaste and it's like your breath is gonna be fresh at first but then after a while whether you eat or not your mouth kind of starts to taste not taste weird but like you almost feel like you just need something in your mouth i never noticed that that was something i experienced with regular toothpaste but one day i don't know why i guess my boyfriend was having like sensitivity in his teeth so he was like i'm just gonna try a new toothpaste and he got this one and we ran out one day right and then we went back to the regular one and 
then I was like, I don't like this toothpaste. I feel like it makes my mouth hella dry. And he was like, yeah, no, I'm not really feeling it either. I noticed that too. So I don't know what it is about the Zam toothpaste, but it's hella good. Moving on. This is the Colorproof Radically Smooth Anti-Frizz Serum. It took me hella long to finish this. I have literally had this since I worked at Planet Beauty, which was like three years. Three, damn, was it three years ago? So this is basically a cream like serum that you put in your hair this is like one of those things that just it does so many things all at once obviously it's called anti-frizz serum it's gonna help with frizz but i would basically use this as a leave-in conditioner what i would actually like to do with this one is like i would use a little bit of this mix it with whatever oil i was using and i just feel like it was just the perfect combination for my hair you know how you'll kind of have like certain products you'll just use on the regular just to keep your hair hydrated or like you know um, just to throw a little something in there. This is one that I it would be like an everyday product for me It does also give heat protection as well, which is a plus would I repurchase it? I think I actually would repurchase this next is the NYX marshmallow primer I've actually talked about this in quite a few videos, um, but I'm gonna say it again I love this damn primer if you have dry skin this is one of the best primers that you can use if you want something affordable definitely repurchasing this it's kind of like a cream texture it almost reminds me of like a very rich moisturizer really really good if you have dry skin and you want something to kind of give you a little bit of hydration before your makeup all right next we have the it looks a little bit different than probably what you guys have seen but the this is the totally instant detox mask yes this is the one that went viral on tiktok that Glamzilla had put everybody onto. I actually had been using this for a minute before it actually went viral and it is actually very, very good. It's one of those masks that does get tight. So if you don't really like that feeling, then I probably wouldn't recommend it. It says deeply cleanses and tightens pores. I don't know if I notice any difference when I use it on my pores necessarily, but what I do like about it, it brightens my skin. I don't know, it just leaves your face feeling very, very soft, which I feel like for a detox, detox, mask i wouldn't expect it to be as like softening as it is i don't know how to explain it i feel like softening when you use that to describe like products i feel like it's kind of just like well duh wouldn't you want anything to soften it's only the dry down part that is a little bit intense with this mask other than that i mean it's not like intense as far as like you can only use it if you have like super acneic skin or like super oily skin. I still feel like it does a good job. Maybe if you needed to do a mask or you just want to do one, um, maybe like once a month or once a week, I feel like it's it would be perfect for that. Would I repurchase it? Maybe in a travel size, only because I wouldn't use it all the time. I do like it a lot. So probably, like I said, probably not the full size, but maybe in a travel size, I think I would. Next. So the Tree Hut Body Scrub. This one specifically is the Moroccan Rose. This is the one I remember. It smells like Senora. Yep. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit more of a floral kind of scent. Not like all the way like Senora, where it's like super freaking powdery and like you just can't even deal. It's like floral and powdery, but like kind of sweet, if that makes sense. This is a good scent. I would definitely repurchase this one. This, this specific scent. I think that's why I actually threw this in there because it was my first time trying it. Since we're on body stuff, I guess I'll show another one. This is an OG. But yeah, specifically this one. I really, really like it. Uh, this one comes out more of ki in kind of like a cream texture. But I like this one for when I shave. There are a couple scents that I've tried, which I think I've tried almost all of the Dove ones. Like not all of them have that kind of cream texture. Some of them are more of like a gel, if that makes sense. I just feel like this one lathers better. I love this body wash. I'm definitely always gonna buy that always for the rest of my life. All right, I'm gonna do another hair item. This one, oh my god, I've been dying to talk about this one for some reason. So this is a curl cream. It's by Ava Hair Care. It's an indie brand. I love their stuff. Basically, it's a leave-in. If you have some type of natural texture to your hair, whether it be a little wave like mine, curly hair, you can use it. What I really like about this is that I would, basically how I would use it, which I would also mix this with oil, kind of like the other one that I showed you guys from Colorproof. Basically, I would kind of just scrunch it throughout my hair after I get out the shower, and I feel like it kind of just, like, so softly just, like, perfected my little curl and wave that I do have. 
without it being crunchy like a gel which i just love that this is what actually got me more curious about trying other curl creams which i haven't found one that i like necessarily as much as this one i hope they still make this because i would most definitely repurchase this next we have the bumble and bumble save the day daytime protective repair fluid this one is basically a heat protectant comes out like a cream serum but a little bit more liquidy but i love this stuff this stuff smells hella good a good time to use this would be if you're going on like day two day three hair and you don't want a whole lot of product but you're about to put heat on it and you want it to be protected so if you want to cocktail it with other products you can and it's not going to feel like you know you have too much going on next la roche pousset it's just called eye but it's basically an eye cream this is one of my favorite eye creams but yeah, I just really needed one one day and I was at Target and I seen this and I had seen people talking about the cleanser from this brand and that it was really good. That had made me want to give it a try and I actually really freaking liked it. This is very expensive though. Well, for, for a drugstore product, it's expensive. This was like $30, which yeah, I guess if you compare it to like stuff they have at like Sephora or whatever, like it's gonna be more on the affordable side. Eye creams are always a lot more expensive. I don't know why. I probably will repurchase it again in the future if I need an eye cream. Okay, next, Pharmacy Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. If you are looking to invest in a nice, rich, hydrating, luxurious oil, this is definitely one I think you should keep in mind. I'm actually currently using this. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I would re... I, I mean, I would rebuy it. But I, the only reason why I would not rebuy it is because it's very expensive. And it's very out of my price range for things that I'm paying out of pocket for. But I understand why. Because it's just... It, this oil is so rich. I would suggest this to for people who have mature skin. Who have um, dull skin. Who just want a little bit of like something like if you feel like your skin is just like lacking like something i feel like this is a good add-on to a skin regimen especially if you're extremely extremely dry i will only use this at night if you get very dry in the winter most definitely yes if you got the money to splurge on it because i think this is like 80 freaking dollars or something this is a good one so if it ever by the light of god it goes on sale and you are extremely dry yes oh i forgot about this one okay i'll talk about this one so this is the cetaphil rich hydrating cream i guess i liked it i was gonna say i don't even remember how i felt about this i think what i do remember though is that it's very lightweight even though it's called rich hydrating cream but i think if you're just dry this is a good one as kind of like an everyday i kind of forgot about it for a second but i think i i think i would repurchase it just because i feel like cetaphil is a trustworthy brand the vanny cream moisturizer this is the vanny cream daily facial moisturizer this has hyaluronic acid and ceramides it's for sensitive skin it doesn't have dyes fragrance anything that could potentially irritate your skin from what it looks like and yeah it's completely empty so i'm pretty sure i liked it i do i remember this actually kind of being a little bit similar to this one maybe just a little bit more of like a daytime one versus this one just because of like the texture i actually really love this now that i'm thinking about it because i remember not getting enough hydration from the one i used after this and that's how i could tell that this was actually really doing it for me i would a thousand percent repurchase this this would be a good moisturizer to actually have in your makeup kit if you want a lightweight moisturizer to kind of just for all skin types matter of fact i might just repurchase that just for my kit you know what i'm gonna do one more hair and then i'll finish up with skincare and then we'll do makeup so this looks freaking disgusting has <laughs> all kind of hair and lint on it okay so this is the original moroccan oil this was just like a little trial bottle that i had just a great shine oil this is worth the hype i feel like this definitely gets the recognition that it deserves if you're not too familiar with moroccan oil it has a very distinct fragrance and all of their products have that smell and people love it for the smell I actually even have a body and hair fragrance mist um kind of like a body spray in this specific scent that's how much people really love it i feel like i'm selling to you guys this isn't like i mean yeah these are just products that i just you know genuinely love i feel like it's just i'm so programmed to like sell because of like what i do that like i just feel like i am always selling to you guys but any I, this is why i purposely didn't actually i'm putting to the side the things that i don't want to show you guys because those are the things that didn't end up actually working out for me just because i don't want to confuse anybody sometimes we watch so many like tiktoks and like 
YouTube videos or whatever and certain things will stand out to you or at least for myself I'll be thinking like I saw somebody talk about that but I don't remember if they're saying if it was good or not so I'm only gonna show you guys things are good that are good just so that way I don't confuse you guys I love to use this when I'm straightening my hair just because it just gives me that sleek look that I want obviously Tame's frizz it's just nice to have because no matter how you're styling your hair you could always just use a little you know a little extra shine this is actually one that I would mix with my leave-in conditioner the Cetaphil extra gentle J <laughs> what the Cetaphil extra gentle daily scrub and this is for all skin types i like i said i feel like cetaphil cerave i feel like they're very trustworthy brands that's why i actually grabbed this one day when i actually wanted an exfoliant um, i was actually in dire need of one <laughs> so i was like you know what i'm just gonna give this one a try this one does have very tiny something i don't know what it is i don't know if they're like enzymes or something this does have something in it it's it's okay wait wait hold on it says micro fine particles buff away dry dull skin okay yeah so i don't know exactly what those little things are but it's very gentle like it doesn't feel super abrasive on your skin i don't think this is like giving you micro cuts in your skin i don't think i could be wrong but it is what it says it's very gentle just in case i'm wrong and just because i don't really know what those little grains are i don't know if it would be the best to use every single day so i would pretty much use this maybe like every other two days that's a good one if you have like dry patches and you really just want something that's you know not gonna like fuck up your skin barrier but you know you just need a little something oh my god i have two of these okay <laughs> clearly i like it a lot i'm sure i've talked about this before and if i have repeated any of these items you guys i'm sorry i just really fucking like them if i'm talking about them that much so yeah this is the same exact product this is the travel size this is the regular size this is the clinique take off the day cleansing balm and i love pre-cleanses and cleansing bombs this is a makeup remover you can use it <gasps> i didn't even know i had lip gloss freaking on my chin okay so this is a makeup removing cleansing balm pretty much the same thing as that pre-cleanse like i told you guys it removes makeup it, it removes um, pollution that sits on your skin it's not a cleanser it just removes anything that's on your skin so that way when you wash your face it's actually gonna clean your skin can't get enough of these they remove face paint they remove any kind of sticky body oil you might have going on it removes that waterproof mascara and eyeliner there is nothing that this doesn't take off honestly you guys i cannot rave about this specific cleansing balm enough okay then i have the dermalogica cyto replenish oil this one i think would be good as a day oil if you want an oil for the day that's not too heavy or greasy or if you're oily or combination and you want an oil for the night i think this would be a good one for that i feel like it brightened my skin a lot i feel like i say that about a lot of products but but for reals i think it i feel like it just gave me kind of this like boost of radiance like i don't know how to describe it but i really did like it this is a very expensive oil though would i repurchase it I don't know maybe if they were having a sale i i i would well just because i feel like it's a very comfortable oil it's not like it's not definitely not as rich as the pharmacy if i'm ever wanting to put an oil on my skin but i'm not really in the mood to feel like i'm just like covered in oil this would be uh, one that i would grab last skin product this is the aquaphor lip repair immediate relief it's specifically designed for the lips i love this stuff i actually rebought it or i i had the intentions of rebuying it but i accidentally bought the regular aquaphor no wasn't the same i don't know what it is about this specific formula but this just works so good i was using this basically as kind of like a lip mask you know wouldn't wipe it off or anything but i would use it at night basically my lips were feeling so good if i ever do come up on the specific lip one again i'm just gonna go ahead and grab it because it's not that expensive it's not expensive at all actually um you can find it at like cvs walgreens target anywhere any drugstore really and if you want something to prep your lips before you do a matte lipstick or if you just want something just to kind of sleep in just to kind of hydrate your lips yes even if you wanted to throw this on top of lipstick honestly just for a little shine a little hydration yes i have a couple makeup products that i did want to talk about surprisingly i actually didn't have that much makeup in here so the first thing i want to talk about 
And I feel like this was this was a given that I was going to talk about this because I know for sure I've definitely talked about this before. If you follow me on TikTok, you've probably seen me use this like a hundred thousand times. But the Elf Hydrating Camel Concealer, one of my go-tos. This is like the safe option for me now. <laughs> like I feel like I, anytime I'm experimenting with new concealers, I always got to just have a, an Elf Camel Concealer, the hydrating one specifically, on hand somewhere. If all else fails, I know this one is going to have my back every freaking time. This works with so many different foundations. It works with my tinted moisturizers. It works with my dewy foundations. It just works with freaking everything. It's just, it's just perfect. And I love it. And I'm already going on like my probably fifth, sixth, who knows, tube of that. This is one of those products, you guys, that I would literally buy like two or three of them if I... Can. I'm gonna save the best for last. So next is my Fenty Loose Powder. This is a great everyday powder. The Fenty Powder Loose Powder. This is the Pro Filter in the shade Butter. I can't, I haven't used it for so long. I can't even really describe to you like what it is that I like about it. It is the perfect tint of like yellow, but it's not so yellow that it's like a banana powder if that makes sense it did what it needs to do like it's just a nice powder i don't know what else to say about it semi-affordable i don't think it's like an arm and a leg especially for the amount that you get and how long it's actually gonna last so next ignore all of this gunk i don't know what the heck this is i found a candy stuck to it so i'm pretty sure it's just like melted candy or something which is freaking disgusting but whatever so this is one of my favorite higher end mascaras this is the benefit they're real magnetic mascara this one specifically only comes in a black but this is how the wand looks it's kind of medium size it's, it's like silicone they're very short but what i like about this is that i feel like it gives a lot of length for as thick as it is and i swear i think it's those i think it's like the silicone-y type of applicator that does this but it doesn't clump up very fast so like you can layer this a good amount of times like for, just let me give you an example my lashes they're not like bored straight like they don't grow like down they're so straight but they don't have really natural curl to them i don't really have hella length because of that i feel like i like to layer my mascara i don't like that spidery look i don't really like that to be honest but i like to know that i can layer a mascara without it getting hella chunky so that's what this one does and i really freaking like it about it and what's nice about it too is that it doesn't really build up on the the thing that you put the applicator in and i i know that there are really good drugstore mascaras i even one of my favorite mascaras is the drugstore one but i feel like i would still buy this if i needed a mascara just because i feel like it gives me everything that i need okay the last <laughs> i said this i'm saving the best for last just because i really freaking love this one okay the hula benefit the benefit hula bronzer <laughs> sorry um this is just the original one right here i freaking love this damn bronzer and you know what's funny is that i had one of my old co-workers suggest this to me because i really needed like a i really wanted like a neutral bronzer and i had tried this right at that time and i don't know why it didn't catch my attention like i used i was using it for a little bit and i was trying to give it a chance but it really didn't do anything for me and so i put it away for the longest right and then one day i actually decided i'm like you know what i'm just gonna try it again and i started using it and i and i don't know why all of a sudden i started to like it i don't know if it's just because my taste in like what i was looking for in a bronzer changed but all of a sudden i just freaking loved it and i started using it as my everyday bronzer and it's so funny too because i would use this as just like my everyday bronzer and when i would wear my makeup like this i would get so many compliments at work and people would be like oh my god like what bronzer are you using like your your bronzer just looks so good i would specifically get compliments on my bronzer which i'm like I've never looked at somebody's bronzer before like so I don't know if it's maybe it's because I was finally getting the right shade that it was actually complimenting me yeah so I would most definitely repurchase this I feel like this is another go-to of mine I feel like it's safe it's reliable it's I I equally love it as much as I love the elf camel concealer
a safe option i love it it just hits every single time but yeah this is definitely something i'm never gonna forget about because it's just that good that you know if i'm not in the mood to try something different i'm definitely gonna go back to this but yeah i'm pretty sure this is gonna be a little bit longer video but i have been wanting to do another one of these i know i've been doing more vlogs lately i was looking back at my old videos and i did notice that people do enjoy watching like hauls and like you know favorite videos and things like that which i actually like to watch those too so i'm not even like surprised i have been wanting to do another one of these so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed make sure to again hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and make sure to follow my tiktok i'm very active on my tiktok so make sure to go check it out thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye